the Tory. Taking away at the legs of these batsmen, just looking for a mistake. And getting some good support in the field. Two very, very experienced campaigners at the crease. Well, I think the run rate required starts to become a factor shortly, and we saw this in Christchurch, where Pakistan pushed New Zealand up, pushed them up, and asked the dashes to come out and do it from ball one. Now, the run rate required now is 5.76, and every dot is gold for New Zealand. They want to squeeze and keep that run rate going up towards six, more than a run a ball, when you can start to believe. Of course, it's a working day here in New Zealand. Oh, yes, P. Hit ten. Hit ball. He was going to have but plenty of time there. Oh! Just doesn't come onto the bat, Scott Styrus. Such a fine batting strip, this. Oh, yes, great head, Kane! That could be close. That could be close because oh. Williamson is quick. Oh, he was so close. He'll be disappointed to miss there. He probably should have done better. It was a mad run from Yunus Khan. What was he thinking? He just ran with the shot. Have a look at him. Well, they took a lot of risk there. He was on his back foot. Williamson is quick. And, well, he would have made his ground once again, but flirting with danger. Williamson late. Well, Williamson probably hanging back because of the man who was there at short cover. In the air, lobbed away, no real timing, but it's well placed, and in the end it's going to stretch Bennett, he does well. That's a very good shot from Miss Ball Huck. New Zealand were taking a little bit of stick, so two overs for 12. Oh! Oh, a little bit outside here, this will be a chase, this will test the outfield. Guptill's very quick and he gets it quite comfortably. Now this partnership is going to start to become a concern now for Daniel Vittori. It's worth 40 from 58, but the pace has started to pick up, the ease in which these two are playing. They're not scoring at the required rate, but they're keeping it well in check. Ball is there. Yes, now regularly beating the field. That's one good idea of uh, how good they're playing now. After a, a pretty poor start, but every time they got themselves, when you say, in a great position, oh, get oh it's not good. There's cover out there, but... So faltered in the process. Short again in the air, but it's away. A couple more, so things not going. Mason McCullum, and a good job. The last year or so for New Zealand. A little bit tested here at the moment, though. Oh, that's a good shot. Got to last really to haul it in. And this is the moment New Zealand needs their main strike bowler to take a wicket. And he's resuming hostility straight away. And that's Miss Barr's response. Says, uh, I'm sure he's saying something like it's white, round, maybe you should go and find it. Oh, it's great betting, isn't it? <laughs> Sally's still got something to say, but he's thrown it up there. It's not a half volley, and then Ms. Barr, you know, he'll be quietly satisfied with that. What will Sally's response be? 
first response was a couple of words. <laughs> I think the one that matters the most was the ball. Turned away nicely, pushed for two. Get it comfortably. They might get three, they should. No. Oh, that's nicely played. Bit of width and put away. Four runs to finish off the Tim Southey over an expensive. I think New Zealand know, Daniel Vittori knows that he needs a wicket. He needs a breakthrough within the next three or four overs. Well, this game will just slip away. Franklin, round the wicket. Nicely played again. Good bit of timing. Styrus will get round, but they'll get too comfortably. One fifty up for Pakistan. Three down. Yeah, it's the experience, isn't it, that these two offer up? I think real power and, and excitement. I mean, Shazad, Cameron Akmal, Umar Akmal, Afridi, and Razak. Push for two again, but won't take it. I've got the steadiness of Muhammad Hafiz at the top. And these two in the middle, 